Hey guys, this is Animat, and it's time once again that we find out what's in the box! Okay, well, as you guys can see here, the biggest thing, obviously, that you will see is this big eBay box. So we have to figure out what the fridge is in this big eBay box and who is responsible for it in the first place because my god, it's so big, it's so beautiful and it's probably one of the biggest boxes that I have ever gotten for what's in the box, honestly. It's not just like the size right here, but in length, it's, well, as big as this also. Um, maybe I've gotten some bigger, but so far it's one of the biggest ones so far. But beforehand, as you may notice, there's a lot of other smaller packages that I have on top. So why don't we go and start with those ones? And I'll start things off with this one coming from Justin Kennan. So uh, let's see what Justin has sent for us and see if there's also a letter just in case. And yes, there is one, of course. Okay. Anyway, uh, let's start this off. Dear Animat, way back on your What's in the Box episode, Balby is Best package on July 23rd, 2016, I told you I was trying to get my first book published. Well, here it is, and it is personally autographed. Uh, it's about the lives of 10 different people living in a small town. You can get more details from the back, which I feel explains the book better than I ever could. Now I'm working on a swashbuckling sci-fi adventure about a green-eyed, blue-haired captain and his crew of sky pirates. Wishing you the best, Justin Kennan. Ooh, wow, it's not just a book. Oh, it's actually his own book. It's Justin's own book called Small Town. Oh, wow. That's actually really, imp wow, I gotta say, I am really impressed. Uh, to Animat, please put the seal of approval here from Justin Kennan. <laughs> oh, cute, cute. Oh, wow. That, I'm actually very impressed. Not gonna lie, that's actually really cool that you actually got your own, uh, you actually got your own book. Wow, I, I gotta say, Justin, that's really awesome right over here. So, yeah, so if you guys are interested in, uh, reading Justin's book, it's called Small Town, and, uh, I don't know where else you can get it, but, uh, if anything, you can go and ask Justin. So, yeah, thank you very much, dude, for your book. That's actually really cool. Okay, so... Uh, the next one I shall go, eh, what a, oh, no, uh, wow, you're a lot bigger than I thought. Next one is going to be coming from, uh, good old Pokematic, yes, from the same man that brought us the Richard Simmons review. Let's see what he has for us this time. All right, uh, let's see, oh, okay, it's already packaged up, so, right. first off, let's get into, how the heck do we open this? Hold on, uh, right. might as well get the letter out of the way first, so, uh, it says here, Dear Animat, after, you review, after your review of Richard Simmons, uh, I thought you might like a different iconic workout tape. Enjoy, sincerely, Pokematic. Uh, P.S. Did my request inspire any copycats? Oh boy, did it inspire any copycats? Uh, <laughs> who, I, I honestly have no idea, I mean... I think, honestly, when it comes to that Richard Simmons review, I have made a review unlike any other. <laughs> or a video unlike any other, just saying. So apparently I got, what the fridge? Buns of Steel Advance with Tamily Webb. What the fridge? So, uh, yeah, okay, I've never heard of Tamily Webb. Uh, apparently it says here, Tamily Webb MA trains aerobics, uh, uh, trains aerobic instructors worldwide to, for Step Redoc, uh, Step Reebok. She is the author of several fitness books and creator of several best-selling exercise videos. Idea was nominated her, oh, Idea has nominated her as Instructor of the Year three years in a row. So, uh, yeah, so, I got a vi I got a workout exercise video showing a fit girl's butt so that's pretty much what i got right over here so uh yeah thank you very much pokematic so i got buns of steel now <laughs> never thought i was gonna say that here 
Uh, anyways, let's, uh, let's go with this one right over here. And this is going to be coming from Micah Man. And I think I can do this with my hands. Yes, I can. So, uh, any letters or anything? Surprisingly, no. But, he did send me... Oh, wow. <laughs> he sent me a CD of Sing. Believe it or not. And this is apparently the, uh, deluxe edition. So, and considering it looks like a Target, maybe it's a Target exclusive or I don't know. It says it has two extra songs, but yeah, I got the deluxe edition of Sing, which I'm not going to lie. I mean, the songs are fantastic in there. So, oh, uh, why not? I got Sing. Yay. Thank you very much, Micah. All right. So, uh, with that, uh, let's go. Yeah, sure. Why not? Oh, uh, let's go with this one right over here, which this one is, will be, uh, this one will be from Flo Anderson. So let's see what Flo has for us. And first, let me go and inspect if there is a letter in here or no, not even. Uh, we just apparently what we have is an Articuno pouch. So uh, and it has stuff in it. Oh, here it is. OK, here's the letter. All right. And uh, first off, we actually have uh, a collection of stickers of My Little Pony characters. Uh, I don't, I'm not 100% sure, well, it, like, it's not all the main six, like, I don't see Twilight Sparkle, but it has some of the side characters. <clears throat> so, uh, apparently, let's go, uh, right over here, uh, oh boy, so, uh, <laughs> it has several colors, but some of them are a little bit, well, only the yellow is, uh, hard to read, admittedly. Uh, hi, it's me again. I have some questions for you on things that happen to strike my curiosity. Please answer them all honestly. Uh, number one, what's your favorite color? Orange. Uh, do you have a favorite animal? Honestly, not 100% sure. Uh, which ev evolution do you like best? Uh, best evolution? Uh, that's a good question. I'd probably go with Espeon, probably. Uh, have you ever played the game Uno? Of course. Uh, those are all the questions uh, I have for now, but before I go, I have three more things to say. Uh, first of all, if you ever get a chance, I highly recommend that you give Yokai wa uh, Yo Watch a watch. Uh, no pun intended. Start from episode one and see if you like it. Uh, second, I hope you don't mind, but I actually like Disney's Home on the Range. I agree with you uh, about Al uh, what is it? Al Alameda Slim being uh, an embarrassing villain but other than that i don't think it's a bad movie uh i've seen much worse turn around love flow oh, okay oh so it, it's the full thing right here i only saw this but okay so it's all of this actually so apparently there is a little bit more in this uh, articuno pouch and uh whoo look at that <laughs> so i got a mario themed uno so yeah so this is like it's just regular Uno, but I got like all Mario themed right over here. Okay, that's actually really cute. I like this. I like. Um, is there any more? Yes, and uh, apparently this is uh, my uh, my emojis. Uh, I don't know what this is, but it's like Disney emoji themed, and we got a snarky little Mickey Mouse. So I don't know if you can see it fully. Yeah, it's just this uh, snarky cynical looking mickey mouse so it, it looks something that would be more commonplace in uh, the recent tv series so we got that so thank you very much flo and i gotta say this articuno pouch is actually very nice oh and it's actually quite handy i could use it for several stuff oh that's actually really awesome so yeah thank you so much that's really cool all right so uh next up we got this right over here which is just a dvd coming from jared pardun well it says that it it's a dvd it's just written there and uh let me double check if there is a uh if no i don't think there is a uh letter here but uh, apparently i got a dvd of willy wonka and the chocolate factory Oh my god, like this is one of those, like as a kid I loved watching this, but yeah, it's really nice. I got a uh, Willy Won- it's uh, apparently the 40th, e uh, 40 years of everlasting fun of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. So, simple as that. Thank you very much, uh, Jared. This is actually really nice. Really love this movie. Alright, so next up is gonna be uh, this one, which is an Amazon box, or, well yeah, it's a little Amazon package. 
We'll see what this one is right over here. It's a little bit larger than usual, so it is interesting. Uh, let's see, what does it say? Uh, hey Animat, uh, notice you were missing some of Ghibli's Blu-rays on your top 10 Disney Blu-rays. Uh, he, uh, here is one to fill a gap from Chris Estrada. P.S. Sorry about the Muppet Letters from Saturday DVD. I thought you enjoyed that special. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, just to remove the ribbons. And apparently, what I got over here, and it's, <laughs> it's still wrapped up. And, uh, what I got is actually, um, Whisper of the Heart. Ooh, really nice one. Uh, so, uh, well, <laughs> surprisingly enough, yeah, I, it's one of the few that I don't actually have, but yeah, it's actually really nice, so, uh, really nice addition, a very cute movie, I must say, but yeah, like, as you can see right over here, it's the Blu-ray of, uh, Whisper of the Heart, so it's just one of the very few that I don't have in terms of my Studio Ghibli collection, like, the other ones that I don't have, really, like, the one that I'm probably looking for the most that I don't have is, uh, the cat returns but it's like it's not a top priority really like it's just one of those like if i really do need to get another one i would go with the cat returns but yeah i got whisper of the heart so thank you very much chris thank you very much okay so we made it this is the big one right over here the big ebay box and it's actually a, a little bit lighter than i expected so uh this one will be from Jamie Martinez, so the big question is, like this is literally what's in the box, like this is why it's called what's in the box in the first place, because I got this giant, e this giant eBay box, and like all it does is make me ask the question, which I gotta go through this layer of duct tape, oh good god, okay hold on a sec. Just uh, see if I can open it the best way I can. There we go. Okay. There we go. All right. Ah, there we are. Okay. What the fridge is inside this? And starting from here, greetings from Japan. I've been wanting to send, send this a while ago, so I hope you love this. The first item... Uh, the first item are the figment figures that were promotional items from Journey into Imagination. The second is a rare, is a rare Disney statue. Only 1,500 were made. I hope you love both. Sincerely, Luna. Okay, so, uh, well, I gotta scavenge, I gotta go and scavenger them first. Okay, so first off, right over here, we actually got these, uh, little figment figures. And they're actually in really good condition, I must say actually really nice like you got you got figment to figment lifting uh next up you got uh space figment right over here it's like the more i look at these the more that they look like muppets oddly enough uh you also got uh, a little performance figment uh next up we got artist figment right over here this nice little guy and finally we also have the regular figment all right very cute oh always love figment oh for a moment i thought like his leg was I, I thought his tail was detached but no it's like a tat it's like on the side okay so the big thing okay here it is okay i found it it's this hold on i gotta put it on the ground first so okay so it's all this it's what is this okay i can't shake it too much Okay, there's nothing else. Okay, very very well packaged with all this. So, it's from the Classic Walt Disney Collection. And we got a certificate of authenticity. Uh, so, hold on a sec. Okay, hold on. Uh, I gotta make sure it doesn't break or fall or anything like that. And let's see now. Oh my god, look at this. Hold on, how the fridge am I gonna do this? So, okay. It is a, wow. It is a statue of Walt Disney and Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. Oh my God. And yeah, apparently only 1,500 of these are actually made. Oh my God, it is beautiful, I must say. It really is nice. Wow, my 
my god. Like, that really is amazing. Holy crap. So, I just gotta... I immediately have to put this right over here. It's just too nice to hold on to. I don't want to break it or anything like that, but... Wow, oh my god. Uh, Luna, you actually sent me something that is really incredible. I mean, both uh, the Figment figures, since I, I am a huge Figment fan, love Journey into Imagination, and this statue right over here, wow, that is beyond amazing. I, I think, honestly, like, they are absolutely worth it for the giant box. Like, this totally is worth it. And, I mean, this whole episode is absolutely worth it. I just want to give a huge thanks to both everybody who has sent a package, who sent a giant box, or who have sent me a letter. Uh, this was an absolutely amazing episode. Definitely had a blast just reading your letters or just opening up the stuff that you sent me. Uh, this truly was awesome. So, I just want to give a huge thanks to you guys. And also, thank you guys for watching this. And we'll see if in the next episode, uh, we'll keep it as spectacle as this. But we will only know until next time, so see you later, dudes!